I would change um, the way the roads are and that I would be a lot tougher I think because you have loads of cars parking down the side so when you're driving you have to like go in and out of things and it's really annoying especially like parents who want to get their children to school and there's people going to work from who live in Hampton and everyone gets really annoyed at each other so I'd change that I think. It's safe you can walk around and you, you, you're not going to get like shouted at or anything and everyone's very friendly so you're not you know it's, it's a nice place to be it's a good community. Um, things like that we have in town like Cinema, we've got the shops, which is good, but I think things like cinema, maybe a swimming pool, a gym would be helpful. So that, and especially a swimming pool, because then schools could come and for PE lessons they could have a wider variety of something to do. Um, what would be your favourite place in Hampton? Well, I quite like Tesco's because I can go to chat and hang out up there, and the park's quite good because you can kind of play with your friends and chat again. What's your first memory about Hampton? Probably going around, kind of walking around the building sites and stuff like that when it was still being built and looking at um, how the buildings were get, being built and going around the show homes. What changes would you make to Hampton to...? I actually think they've done a pretty good job in the sense that there's a lot for them to do. There's lots of playgrounds, there's lots of um, community um, areas, there's the library just up the road. I actually think there's, there's quite a lot of facilities. What's it like coming back? Hampton it's small, much smaller than I remembered it because I just remember everything being much bigger but then maybe it's because Hampton College is so much bigger or maybe it's because I've grown. How does Hampton Parkgate compare to Hampton College? It's more personal in here because there's not as, as with all primary schools as well, there's more, there's more people in, a, in one class, whereas in here there's not that many. I suppose you get to know everyone. And then when you go to Hampton, it's kind of like everyone's spread apart and, you know, you meet a lot of new people from different schools. It's like loads of different schools are coming together as one. And it's nice because you get, a, I suppose you get a better social life. And, and the more Yeah, Hampton College is much more independent because you get to, like Emily said, you get to bring your own books and you have so many different teachers and you have to find your own way around so you get it's kind of nice being left to yourself um, because like in primary school you're just being told what to do permanently and you don't really get much freedom because you're always in the same classroom with the same teachers and the same books which the teachers look after so it's much nicer being able to feel like you're responsible for something. Consider living in Hampton in the future. I don't know, I think the parking isn't the best thing ever, so I quite, but I do actually quite like the residential areas around. Um, you just got like a nice walk, so you've got, um, like you can walk around the lake and you can bike around, and you would actually let your children play around. Would you say the changes in Hampton have affected Jaxley in any way? I think they have because I think my parents expected me to go to school in Sawtree or St at Sawtree or Stanground and now I'm here and I've got like friends here and there's all these diff there's all people trying to compete to get into here so it's sort of different now. What would you change about Hampton? Um, if I could I would probably change that everything is man-made, I'd want it to be maybe a bit more natural because everything looks so, I don't know, modern? I don't. Maybe you could say Hampton was like a plant and then it'll eventually grow into something natural. So maybe it starts as man-made like a seed and because like you plant it, but and then eventually it'll grow into a plant which is like natural, so. What's your earliest memory about the development of Hampton? My earliest memory about Hampton would be Sitting on the Tump, which is a hill we have in Hampton, and looking out and seeing that, like, Hampton was only half done. And now when I look out from Tump, I see all Hampton Vale and, like, the houses, there's about four times as many now, so it's quite a big shock. What are the advantages of living in Hampton? Um, Hampton's quite a big development, um, it's quite a community based area so there's lots of things to provide um, for the community, the schools are excellent here, um, the facilities are, are ongoing um, so it's just a really nice area to live in. It's great for commuters as well because the access to the roads um, are pretty good. 
Okay. What kind of people do you think should live in Hampton? Um, it, it caters for everyone, so um, first time buyers, young professionals, um, the commuter who has to stay here during the week and go home at the weekends, um, some families, so you might have older people living here in the ground floor apartments, there's retirement homes as well, um, groups of people, so it really does cater for everybody. The road. I think the road needs straightening because I don't like the bendy bits in it and I think um, um, although the new bumps that they put in, the slightly lower bumps, are actually an improvement on what they used to be. Um, I think it's a bit of both really because there's not enough facilities here yet and plus it's, I think it's really overcrowded. Um, in September 2006, um, Poland. Lipnik. Well, I was here like a year before I moved for um, on holidays to my dad and I quite liked the area and stuff but I didn't want to move here but then um, some things changed um, in Poland and stuff and I was really keen to come here next year. Um, I thought it's everything is exactly the same, I'm gonna get lost. Uh, How do you feel about it now? Well, it kind of like changed a lot because every house looks different to me now. It's like it's it's got something specific about itself. I think I would like it to like grow a bit, like not more houses and stuff, but like more facilities because there's loads of houses and it's like too big for the schools we've got here. So like some people from Hampton can't get to Hampton College because Hampton College is too small. Um, so I think there should be more facilities like clubs and swimming pool and stuff like that instead of houses. If you could add anything to Hampton, what would it be? Um, a zebra crossing near the school. Cause I have to wait ages to cross the road when I'm going to school. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I'd probably add a lollipop lady as well <laughs> that stands in the road. Have more older play areas than little play areas because mostly all the parks I see, it's got, it hasn't got the big swings. I think there's a few things we could benefit from. I think you could do, do with a few more shops. Um, I think you could do with maybe another um, restaurant or, or, or pub for people who are a bit older. Um, but also I think you could probably benefit from a few more facilities for young people. I do notice that there's a lot, uh, a lot of people that I teach say that there's not enough going on in the evenings in Hampton and you're quite isolated and, and stuck uh, over here for things to do sometimes. I think it's also quite important as a cyclist for there to maybe be um, some planned reserved areas for people to cycle, to, to, to travel about. I worry about how the houses are going to be developing and whether there's going to be enough um, schools, uh, places, uh, green spaces as well when all those new houses are being built in. How is your life different here to the one in Poland? Um, in Poland I got out more because um, there was more things to do. I was in volleyball team and dance class and um, music school. I did a lot of different things which we haven't got here. The most important things that Hampton needs at the moment is more facilities for young people and personally I think if there was a leisure centre here for me I would go after school to go swimming or use a gym or something, so that would be really, really useful. It would also provide extra um, opportunities for the young people that live in Hampton, activity-wise. What, what changes in Hampton would you do to make it better? Possibly just more places for people to go, more places to eat. There's loads of really lovely water areas here, and something that I found really nice living in London part of the time is going out and sitting by the river, having a drink, eating, that sort of thing could exist in Hampton and I don't think it does at the moment. Mm. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Mm. Safe. 